I, I tell athletes all the time that what you learn in athletics, what you are taught in athletics about sacrifice, commitment, paying the price, being prepared, those things apply to whatever you're doing. I call it the right now moment. You know, we, we get, when we get those opportunities to, to perform or the coach says, watch your end, you know, that's a right now moment. What I learned in, in athletics uh, actually served me very well as a, a student, um, as a business person. It, it served me as a parent very well. They, they've, it, it served me well as, 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 as an elected official, as, as a candidate. Just understanding that you did it on the athletic field, in the athletic arena. What, what did you do there to get to where you wanted to go? And you, you, it dawns on you that, oh, it's no different over here in this arena. You gotta do the same thing. You gotta pay the same price, you gotta make the same preparation. And those that do are the ones that, uh, as Zig Ziglar says, they're the ones that you see at the top. Could possibly go by the Norman office if I need oh, to. Oh, really? I'm okay. You know, when I left the University of Oklahoma in 1981, I kind of thought someday I would, I would maybe run for public service. Some of my family background was, was you know, you would say, well, that was kind of a natural in 1989, um, you know, kind of turbocharged my thinking about uh, public service. And in June of 1990, I, I became a candidate. Our future quality of life will be determined by the actions we take today. Send me to the Corporation Commission. I believe our children should have the same clean environment we inherited from our parents. J.C. Watts, a brighter idea for Oklahoma. The good folks in Oklahoma gave me an opportunity in 1990 to serve at the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. I had not thought about anything else when then Senator Bourne decided to, uh, you know, step down. There was some rumblings that he was going to step down and, and uh, come back home and, and become the president of the University of Oklahoma. Uh, obviously that kind of created a snowball in effect and I'd had some people that encouraged me to take a look at the congressional race. My mission from the day I was elected, I felt was to go and represent Oklahoma values and that's what I'm inspired by. Oklahomans understand community, they understand family, they understand faith, they understand hard work, character, and integrity. These are Oklahoma values, and I'm proud to represent those. It didn't surprise me that I ended up in politics. It surprised me that I ended up in the United States House of Representatives. I just never thought that that would have happened. I said I was gonna do it for three terms. I did it for four. Congressman J.C. Watts. I know how intoxicating the cheer of the crowd can be. I don't care if you're in the ministry. I don't care if you're the CEO of a firm. I don't care if you're the president of a university. I don't care if you're in coaching and athletics. The cheer of the crowd is so seductive. It is so intoxicating. I had heard the cheer of the crowd before as, as a player of the University of Oklahoma. And I think if, if you're not grounded in, in who you are and, 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 and in my life, whose I am, um, I, think, I think it's easy to lose, to lose sight of that. When I first ran for public office, I said, you fall Oklahoma gave me a foundation in terms of my values and, 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 and you know, those old fundamental principles of hard work, sacrifice, commitment. Oklahoma has been so good to me, you know, in my athletic career, my political career, anything that I've been involved in, um, 
I mean, Oklahoma, is, that's, that's who I am. That's who shaped me, and that's my base. 